I'm Cynthia and this is the CalFlora database homepage and I'm going to teach you how to add an observation to CalFlora. You first need to log in which is free if you don't already have a login and then you remember your password and type it in and then once you're logged in you go to add observations and I'm going to just talk about plant observation entry which is a way to add observations from the web our website new record um, depending on what, how many groups you're in and which groups you're in you'll see different options here I'm just going to be independent and we'll go for simple data collection you can decide if you want to publish your observation or not I do and then you zoom in on the map to where you saw this plant or plants and if you want to add a point location, you say a new point location and click on the map where it was that you saw it. Say in Pinnacles. Click right there. You can also draw a shape, polygon. Say if you saw a bigger group and not just one plant. And then you start typing the scientific name. And a drop down will fill in for you here based on what you start to type. You can also see that drop down when you do common name. Observer fills in automatically. Observation date, you can fill in notes if you want to. Location description if you want to. You can choose the number of plants. Since I have a polygon here for this practice, I'll say 2 to 10 plants. And then we have management status, which mostly applies to invasive plants. Natural status, if it is a planted or restoration site, garden, please note that, or a nursery. Most plants um, are wild in the California database. Ownership, if you know it, although you cannot, we can get that from the map, so it's not so important. Plant identification, let's see, I it was confirmed by an expert, me. Look up the elevation if you want to, 317 meters. Location accuracy say 10 meter radius and then let's calculate the area in acres 25 acres is my polygon it's not an herbarium specimen and there's no other information about the source and then you click save and if you have any questions thank you for your contribution um, any questions for CalFlora go back to the home page by clicking on the flower or the word CalFlora up in the upper left and our contact information is here at the bottom of the page and we look forward to seeing your observations. Thank you.